Greetings, fellow archaeologists, and welcome to Old Zoom. I'm Liv Breeden, the foremost expert on tombology. You must be excited to start your first dig, so let's talk tombs. Tombs are filled with desiccated mummies, ancient plagues, and the League of Evil. We'll get to that one later. Mummies are one of the most prolific threats to any archaeological dig. One minute, they're lying on the ground dead, and the next, they're running around chasing you going on and on about some ancient curse of the sands. That's because they've got the reborn keyword. Reborn is a new mechanic for Saviors of Uldum. The first time a minion with reborn is destroyed, it comes back to life with one health remaining. Check out Colossus of the Moon. Woo boy, this is a huge minion with both divine shield and reborn. He's the biggest mummy in all of Uldum, and it's gonna take a lot to bring him down. When Colossus of the Moon is reborn, his divine shield also comes back, which makes him a particularly stubborn minion. He won't rest until he destroys the one who woke him from his eternal slumber. You should have just let him sleep in. Mummies aren't the only thing in the tombs we need to be aware of. Opening the wrong sarcophagus in your quest for treasure could unleash an ancient plague upon the world, which is exactly what the League of Evil wants you to do. Plagues are cards that wreak havoc for both players, paying no heed to who unleashed them. They're indiscriminate and inconsiderate. Take a look at Plague of Wrath. This warrior spell destroys all damaged minions. It's a dangerous journey to the inner sanctum of a tomb, and some of your crew may have been injured along the way, so be careful when you're opening that final burial chamber. Warriors have a lot of ways to deal damage to all minions, so they can take full advantage of Plague of Wrath. Don't forget, the League of Evil is here in full force, which means we'll need to keep our eyes open for danger both inside and outside of tombs. Like this guy. Evil doesn't recruit the most reliable muscle, and Sunstruck Henchman is no exception. He's stronger than most minions with the same mana cost, but he's far less consistent. Guarding ancient ruins can be so boring, and nobody's gonna notice if he takes a nap for a turn or two. While nefarious creeps are crawling all over Old Doom, we can turn the tide for the League of Explorers with your help. Your training is complete and you're ready for adventure. Just keep in mind the three M's. Mummies, mummies the second time they come around, and memory. As in you have to remember that mummies come back. Now let's go save Old Doom. Cut. Sweet. Wait, isn't there supposed to be a third training video? They'll be fine.